Hey there again. How is you? How you be? This here is conservative Jake Mills coming at you again for another edition of my views, as always, from a conservative standpoint. I'm going to jump right in it today. Seems to be that 38,000 truckers, hardworking blue-collar truckers, are going to be headed to D.C. next week for Biden's old Sleepy Joe's State of the Union address. And they're not just going there for a vacation. They ain't just going there to shoot the breeze. They're going up in there to protest these mask mandates for COVID-19 that's been going on. And not only that, they're going to be there to represent our Canadian brothers and sisters that are going to do hell up there right now with that, guess you can, so-called Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Now, I touched on this a little bit last week. But now it's time. Exercise your right to freedom of speech, which is what I'm glad they're doing next week. And the timing could not be any more fitting because, folks, the, the fact of the matter is, this COVID virus is going to be with us. It might be with us for the rest of our days. It ain't going nowhere. We got to learn to live with it. Take the mask off. Get vaccinated or don't get vaccinated, whatever you want to do, and just roll with the consequences. It's not going anywhere. I mean, for hell, the common, common flu has been around since 1918. It's over 100 and some years. You got flu shots available for that. You can either take it or not. Point being is that we can no longer be slaves to masks and a slave to this virus because it's not going anywhere. It ain't going a daggone place. It's just like the common cold. It's something that we're just going to have to live with. Now, currently, as it stands today, 68% of the country is fully vaccinated, which means you've either had two shots of the Pfizer or the Moderna, whatever it is, or you've had the one shot of the J&J, &J, whichever one it is. But forcing people, particularly truckers, to wear these daggone masks now, at this point, look, we're two years removed from the start of this here thing. Two years. And how long is it, how long is this, going, this virus is going to be? What are we supposed to do? Wear a mask for the rest of our lives? I don't think so. I heard today, up in New York, that's one of the most liberal states in, that I've ever heard, seen in my life. You got the likes of AOC up in there. Chuck Schumer's. It's where Crooked Hillary used to reside. It was a state senator. Now, if, if those folks up there are getting tired of the mask, then that's it. Drop the mandates. Let it roll. And let the cookies fall where they're going to fall. You ain't got no right to be forcing anybody to do anything. This is supposed to be a free country. And we got every right to fight for those freedoms wherever and wherever freedom just even has the threat of going away. We got our right to fight and it's our responsibility to stand up and do it. Far, far as I'm concerned, that mush mouth sleepy old Joe, he ain't going to be up there next week talking about much of nothing anyway. He probably going to get up there talking about how we need to prepare to, to help our international neighbors over there with the whole Russia-Ukraine situation. He's probably going to try to make us feel better about higher gas prices that might go right through the roof because of his doing. He's probably going to get up there 
and pro talk about how high inflation is and that it's going to drop by 40 percent by the fall of this year lie he's probably going to get up there and talk about how good of a job him and kamala kamala have been doing over this past year and how much better <laughs> you're right right how much better so-called things are since they've been in office where in all reality they're worse a whole lot worse now we're vulnerable internationally security our security has been vulnerable and compromised because of these two and president donald j former president I hate saying that former president trump was in office he got tough on china got them tariffs put on so that china can pay their fair share and stop ripping us out he got tough on our allies got tough on them called them out for not paying their fair share in nato in the nato alliance instead of having us carry the brunt the way it's supposed to be a collective effort not the united states putting up all their money the whereas all the other countries aren't paying their fair share you didn't have none of this going on like you do now when former president trump was in office he got up there did a great job and let you know now yeah he was a little blunt but hell i think it was much needed and long overdue so i stand next week with the truckers i stand with them i might even go down there because I used to drive a, a big rig semi back in the day. It's been about 20-some years. I don't have my CDL anymore, but I used to be out there briefly before I changed careers. But I stand with all truckers. Fight those mandates. Fight for your freedom. You got a right to earn a living and be free the way you want. Not have to worry about putting no mask on and worry about somebody dipping into your pay. Or your benefits because of it and threatening your job. The heck with all that. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you like what you heard, you want to see more, all my YouTube family, subscribe. Hit the like button. My Instagram, Facebook family, hit the like button. Spread the word. I really could use the support. You support me, and I'll dang sure support you. Well, Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. And take care. Till the next post. See ya.